y'all welcome back to our washington capitals franchise mode series here on nhl 25 and you might be wondering why the hell are we in the middle of a game at the start of an episode if you guys did miss the last episode i suggest you click the link in the description uh, and i do have a playlist for this series as well and go check that out because ladies and gentlemen our captain alex ovechkin is one goal away from tying the nhl record in goals so we're gonna see if he can do that in this game against the Islanders. So let's get right back into it. Like I said, if you've seen the end of the last episode, we're at the same spot. And I didn't realize I paused right at the end of the period. So I could have just let the clock drain out. So uh, there's that. But here we go. One period to go here in this game against the Islanders. We are up 5-3, to three, which is unfortunate. I am trying to uh, still lose. Again, we are fighting for the last place in the NHL still. So we have a few things going on right here. So vital last few games for many reasons for us here. All right, let's get into this third period. See if Ovechkin can tie that record again. If he doesn't do it in this game, we're just going to have to jump right into the next game. I have to see it. The fans have to see it. The great eight to become officially the greatest goal scorer in NHL history. I think he's already pretty much, you know, considered that. Gretzky wasn't really a goal scorer. He just was Wayne Gretzky. So, of course, he scored the most. But here's Ovechkin up to Wayne. But he passes it off. Ovi now again takes it. Spins around. Firavari a shot. Again, this is uh, not your goal to score, Martin. So I'd suggest you move the puck to number eight. Ovi now around the corner. Ovi moving right in. He shoots. Oh, my God. What a save. Sorokin does not want to be the goalie known for history. Ovechkin again over to Firavari who lets one go. He is. Oh, my God. He just shattered the glass. Uh, <laughs> almost took out a kid in the front row. My God. But yeah, Ovechkin is, uh, he's looking for it. And Elias Sorokin does not want to be on the wrong side of history tonight. I don't blame him. That will be clipped forever. That is the ultimate NHL clip farm right there. And Ovechkin just absolutely laid somebody out in the corner. I don't even know if that was, uh, legal right there. But we will see. Barzell has the puck. And I guess no call on the play. All right, McMichael up to Alexiev. Over to Ovechkin. Ovi gets it to Alexiev. He breaks into the zone and turns it over. Well, that's why you play defense, buddy. Uh, okay, Romanov, up to Holmstrom, Islanders, okay, fucking back end from the corner, why not, he's feeling himself right there, alright, we're probably about halfway through the period at this point, because I have the, uh, the period's only at three minutes, so, at least we'll fly through these games to hopefully, uh, not take forever on this, Dylan Strom on the draw here, and he wins it. All right, so, I mean, I'll take the win because I think if he's going to break the record, it would be nice to have it with a win, at least for his sake. So, if we're going to win a game, have that happen. Uh, Duclair now up to Holmstrom as he breaks the line for the Islanders. He's got some room on the right side. We're confused on defense, and a big save there from Logan Thompson. Bo Horvat now over to Holmstrom. Nope, taken away by Strom and taken right back by Holmstrom. Down to the point. Romanoff. Noah Dobson. He blasts one. That one is deflected. And saved by Thompson. I say blast one. That doesn't fucking make any sense. But um, Islanders next few games. Don't give a shit about that. We're here for Washington. Here we go. Pajot and Strom on the draw. Engvall has a good shot right here. And he scores. All right. Pierre Engvall makes us a one goal game once again. So the Islanders will not go out in this game. Uh, I don't know if they're battling for any playoff uh, contention. So maybe they're uh, extra motivated right now. But uh, we should be extra motivated to just let them score, to be honest. But uh, I can't really control the players. So Pierre Engvall right there on the goal. I think it was only his 10th on the year, though. But big goal for them. Gets them back within one. Uh, how much time we got left on the clock? We have 9.07 left, so it's still plenty of time for the Islanders to come back and tie this game. Can you imagine if Ovi breaks or ties the record uh, with an overtime winning goal? <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Uh, I don't know if our next game is home, but that would be honestly cool if he breaks it at home. And I, I also wonder if, if they do it for the tie and breaking the record or not. As we have taken a penalty here, so the Islanders have a great chance to tie the game here. Brendan Duhame at, like I said, cross-checking. And, uh, yep, right there. Clear as day cross-checked on JG Pajot, and we will be going to the penalty kill. 
All right. Let's see here. We got McMichael and Lop here out there. McMichael has had a great season for us, man. I'm really happy about that. Hopefully, we can get some growth. Uh, be like a hopefully maybe like a 85, but I have a feeling it might just grow to 84. But Horvat right in front. Thompson has to cover up. But yeah, I uh, I once again forgot to uh, check out our HL again. We'll have to get an update on how they're doing. I assume they're a playoff team, but see if that moving up Verona really dominated the league there. And uh, hopefully our guy Ryan Leonard has some big-time development. He'll be in the NHL next year, and he'll be a big focus point for us going forward, of course. Uh, Hendricks off here just kind of gets it in. So, yeah, they get the uh, the full two minutes there. The clock doesn't accelerate for the power play. So here we go. Noah Dobson breaks the line. Dobson takes a shot, and that one goes wide. Barzell fighting for it, gets to it. Noah Dobson, a blast, gloved by Logan Thompson, and he will cover. So down to 621 left. They still have plenty of time here, both on the power play and in the game, to tie this game. Uh, you know, <laughs> just thought of this too. It'd be kind of anticlimactic if Ovi gets an empty netter here as the tying goal, but yeah, I mean, you'll take what you can get. As we get it up the ice there. Clear now. Our, our penalty has actually been pretty good right here, so there's something, I guess. Uh, Barzell up to, as it's Brock Nelson, now Horvat. Barzell takes a blast. Big blocker saved by Thompson. The rebound, though, Islanders still have it. Palmieri, Nelson, back to Dobson. That one blocked by uh, Mick. No, that is uh, Lapierre there, I believe. Dobson pressured by Lapierre, but able to muscle it to Barzell. Uh, Romanoff has it going for a change. Anders Lee has it now. Their captain. The big forward around the net. Romanov takes a shot. That one blocked. Romanov, Duclair moving in, but he is, oh my god, decimated by uh, Lapierre. And he'll get it up. McMichael's dead tired, though. If he had some legs, he could get, could have got to that. But Pajot taking advantage of that. Big, long stretch pass to Duclair. Again, hit off the puck, though. And we clear once again. So uh, we are hounding them on the penalty kill right here. Just getting to the forecheck. Oh, she a big hit. My god. Uh, Duclair. Nope, taken away by Carlson. Alright. Uh, oh wait, we're on the fucking penalty kill. So what am I talking about? Fuck it, put Ovechkin out there. Double shift and triple shift. I don't care. That's... We gotta, uh... <laughs> we gotta be in the news for something this year, man. We are terrible. As Thompson covers any power play did expire. Are we gonna get that first line out there? Uh, as we see, Anders Lee just gets rocked. Oh my god. Oh, she fucking clothesline him. And nope, we got the uh, the second line out there, but they have been our best line, so I don't blame the coach for doing that. Defensive zone face off here, won by the Islanders, however, but we get the puck. Alexi Protis over to Martin Ferravari, moving on that left side, over to Alexiev who shoots and scores. So, uh, <laughs> that kind of sucks, but I mean, nothing you can do. Just a, there's been a bunch of goals since we've hopped in. Was this like the fourth or fifth now? Um... Yeah, just picks that corner. Uh, Sorokin did not get the glove up there high enough, and we regain a two-goal lead. Don't think there's that much time left. I'd get Ovi out there, try to get that goal. He might uh, cheese the empty netter and then try to break it in the next game. But nope, we still got that uh, second line out there. Yeah, Ovi on 80 points this year, so he's looking like he might be a point-per-game player at 39 years old, which is nuts. Told you, man. This game, he just simulates well no matter what. I don't give a shit about his overall or his age. All right. Adam Pellick over to Hudson Fashion now. Moving in. But Ferivari, another takeaway. Uh, Protus. Taken away there. It was that uh, Pellick again. Pulak up to Sezikis. Islanders only got a minute left to make up two goals, and they do pull their goalie. Sezikis in with a shot. Covered by Thompson. And they can get a change in there. Don't think they want that fourth line out there with a minute left. Nope, but they want the third for whatever reason. We do have our first line out there, so uh, Ovi can try to go for that empty netter. So all eyes on your screen right now. Uh, Sandine, I believe that is tied up in the corner. Islanders do control possession. Pelica shot, and that one is blocked. Loose in front, and Carlson gets to it. Dubois has it, but he takes the shot. <laughs> <laughs> and if Dubois was if he could be hated anymore that is it right there 
Fuck all these fucking goal record. I need the, I need my damn goals. I need my fucking points. It's hard to come by in the NHL. Need to make people think I'm worth that damn contract. <laughs> I see you, PLD. That is fucking hilarious. And it's funny because look at Obi. He was like, he was right there. <laughs> oh hell no. Just got past center ice and just ripped it right in. So PLD, we do still have the line out there. So uh, maybe he can score. Maybe he's like, hey, you know, you don't want that tying goal in an empty net. You don't want that weak shit. Oh, oh Ovechkin. He's trying to get that fuck. Look at him. All right, PLD. Is he going to make up for it again? Is he going to return the favor? Oh, McMichael. <laughs> They're trying to take his fucking goal, dude. This is hilarious. Ovechkin. Don't pass it. They're not going to give it to you. Nope. All right. Well, Carlson, you can trust maybe. Up to McMichael. Okay. Ovi's up the center. Are they going to move it to him? McMichael. To Ovechkin right in front. Oh, we got a shot off, but Sorokin covered. Good chance there for Ovi at the end. He is trying to get that goal right now. He knows uh, he's only got a few games left. And Ovechkin pretty much took out Carlson right there. He's doing everything he can to get to that puck. Okay, we threw the third line out there, so there goes that. But uh, <laughs> that is so funny, bro. PLD did not want him getting that fucking goal. That's 10 seconds left. This one is just about over here. Barzell, maybe a final chance for the Islanders just for some style points or whatever. To no avail, though. And we do win 7-4, which isn't great. But uh, Ovechkin, one goal away. I really hope we're home next game. I want to see him score at home. And holy fuck, we're going to have to watch a full game. My God. Once he breaks it, though, I'm next down to the game. I'm not watching the whole fucking thing. <laughs> it's, eh, well, I guess we'll see. All right, y'all. So I have sat through four full games of gameplay. And Ovechkin did not score a single goal goal as you can see over here he is stuck at 40 now we are at game 82 against none other than Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins and we have one game left this year as I said for Ovi to get at least one goal to tie the record and two to break it now I am trying to ensure he gets it this year because I don't know if he's coming back the next year. He is signed through next year, but he could decide to retire. I mean, the man is like 39, 40 years old. So what I have done, the fix is in. Alex Ovechkin is on every single forward line. He's on both power play lines. He's on every four on four and three on three lines. The only thing he's not on is the three on three penalty kill because I just... I, I don't know. I just hope we don't get to that point, and it would be kind of a waste, I guess. So, Ovi, you have one single game left. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with the previous gameplay because nothing happened. I mean, he had chances, but to no avail. He's still at 40 goals. But we are going to sit through this entire game, no matter what, to see if Ovechkin can break the goal-scoring record. So, let's waste no more time, and let's go. All right, here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as I said, against none other than Ovi's biggest rival, Sidney Crosby. Here's Ovi up to Dubois with the shot that is blocked away. And Ovi has one last game this year. This is it. Can he at least tie or break the record? He is one goal away from 894 and two from standing head and shoulders above everybody. And he is going to play pretty much the entire game here. As here comes Ovi up the wing, but he is taking off the puck there. So this is it for him, man. Last game of the year. If not, then we have to watch more games next year, I guess. Marcus Pedersen up for Pittsburgh, though, and that one blocked away. Fighting for it. He gets it back. That one is taken away from him, though. Alex Alexiev up to McMichael. He's got Dubois trailing. And he's still fighting for it. Goes back to the point, kind of, through everybody. And Faravari will have to chase back. So can the great eight officially solidify himself as the greatest goal scorer of all time. Sidney Crosby took a run at him there. A little bit of a heated rivalry coming back maybe in their uh, in some of their final games. Michael Bunting over to Grizzlick to Malkin. Malkin walks right in. That one's saved by Logan Thompson and he'll cover. Now, it's going to be key if we can get some early chances early in the period because uh, Ovi's going to have fresh legs and if he's going to be out here the whole period that is going to be the time for him to score is right away because he's going to be dead tired at the end or we can get you know what we can really use as a big power play he can set up right in his office and what a storybook 
ending it would be. Well, not ending, but storybook way to get that record as Thompson is forced to cover up again. And we need to get that puck in the offensive zone. Come on, boys. Win this big face off Strom. And he does just do that. Carlson has it now. He'll move it up, maybe. Nope. And there he goes. Dylan Strom. Hit off the puck, but Protus. Protus has it. He's got Ovi in front, but he goes back to the point where nobody's at. Nice. Where that? Where was fucking... Who was that? Sandine. Strom battling. Malkin gets it. Out to O'Connor. Over to Raquel. A big save. Thompson was on his back, and he still kept it out. Now, I kind of still want to... Uh, I didn't really check. Ovi a big slapper, but Jari with the save. I forgot to check where we are in the standings because we still are fighting for the first overall odds. As uh, mainly I'm hoping for a top two pick because if we get the first pick, we get that franchise guy, Sven Shuden. Or if we get the second, we get the actual real player, James Hagens, a high elite player right there. So if you get a top two pick, you're getting a superstar player. And we are hoping for just that here in this lottery. We need lottery luck. Even if we get the first odds, that does not mean anything because it seems like you can do... Pretty much anything you can do to get them top odds, then you go from like one to three, and that would be disaster. We need top two odds no matter what. That's Carcone on the face off here against Kevin Hayes, and he does win it. Amanda Kell gets it up. Wilson hit off the puck. And we are taken off the puck again by Kakoni. Hayes to Latane, up to Bavillier. Cut up the left wing, he tries to windmill into nothing. Carcone resets up to, I think that's Ovi. Yep, Ovi. Has it now. He's slow as shit, but he's fighting. And he can't get through quite. He fucking takes that guy. Whoever the fuck that was. Pittsburgh does get it in. Hamana Kell up to Ovechkin. Ovi gets to Carcone. Carcone now taken away, man. These guys just... I have gotten tired of seeing the AI just not do anything, man. It's just like you have to get lucky for them to have any sustained pressure or know what they're doing. They just clunk into each other, turn the puck over. So much of this shit. Big shot out in front. Thompson has to cover in a weird way. And the puck was just on the goal line but kept out. Alright. Fourth line out there. TJ Oshi, baby. Come on. Fine Ovechkin. Ajo to Nieto. Nieto walks right in. That one blocked. Nieto gets it right back. And Thompson has to be big and gets a save there. And this is pretty much happening in every game I've watched. Is that... For whatever reason, I mean, I know our team is pretty shit. But, I mean, come on, Pittsburgh is... Well, no, actually, they're like... Weren't they first in the Metro at one point somehow? With this shitty-ass roster? Here we go, Sandy, and up to Ovi. Come on, move it to somebody, and then let them get you open. All right, he's taking it. Ovi with the shot, and big pad save there by Jari. Down to the point. Sandy, Carlson a blast. Looking for maybe a tit lop here. Carlson can't get it on net, and Pittsburgh will get it out to end the period. Zero, zero. All right, at least Ovi will get some energy back here. As we see a replay of a block shot. All right. Uh, Malkin right here. Big chance. Big save there by Thompson. First intermission. No score here in Pittsburgh. All right. All right. Uh, we only have three shots. They only have five, to be fair. But we need to get the pucks in number eight. Let's go. Come on. That's what the fans want to see. Even the fans in Pittsburgh want to see it. Here we go, Mike Michael, I need a face-off win. Oh, God, against Crosby, though. Yep. <laughs> All right, Bunting moves it up for them. We'll get it right back. Come on, boys, we got to go. We got to take advantage while he has energy. All right, Alexia, just not a good play at all. Come on, buddy, you were pressured by two people. Move that damn puck. And another defensive draw for us. We just cannot get any pressure, man. This shit has been <laughs> low-key pissing me off. All right, Mike Michael against Crosby once again. And a big defensive zone win. Ovi up to Alexia. See, that's how you move the puck, Alexia. McMichael gets in. He'll have Ovi trailing, maybe. Faravari, Alexia. Oh, Ovi's open. Alexia, you just are robbing us of history right now. Rust over to Bunting. Up to Pedersen. The defenseman up the wing now. Marcus Pedersen. He's hit off the puck. There you go, Faravari. Okay. Uh, Crosby up to Dubois. Alexia up to McMichael. Where is Ovechkin? <laughs> Connor McMichael windmill and gets hit off the puck. Patterson up to Bunting. We just can't get any pressure, man. We just give up the puck. Ovi hits Bunting off the puck. He still wants it. Strom carries it now. Can we do anything? Alexiev takes the shot and he's wide. Protus 
I would have known. Dude, oh my god, it's so hard to watch this shit. <laughs> the AI is still so bad. O'Connor. Over to Raquel. Ricard, Raquel, a big shot. Oh my god, did we almost put in our own net? Logan O'Connor in front of Malkin. What a save, Thompson. Point blank, and he's covering. Oh man, we need to take a penalty or something because we can't get any pressure. Yeah, Thompson didn't have a bad year for us. 9 15. I know Lingering. He had a rough start. I think he kind of. Mid season, he was starting to do better. Then he trailed off again. So. And uh, somebody commented that we need to get a goalie. Somebody said. They were saying, bring back Olaf Coles. Like, if only I could, man. That would be a perfect addition to this team. As Ovi runs into Eric Carlson right there. But he. Oh, I hate that in this game. You hit somebody and they just can't get the puck. O'Connor over to Grizzly. Matt Grizzly walks right in. Big save, Logan Thompson. But yeah, goalie we might need to address. I mean, Thompson did have a solid year. I just think that our roster up front was terrible. Like, our defensive core, we had nobody. We had a washed-up John Carlson, and... I mean, I can't really say washed-up Ovi. He had 40 goals, but not prime Ovi. And, uh, eh. I mean, Dubois was, like, point per game. McMichael had a good year. Besides that, it was just kind of slim pickings, so... Uh, hopefully, uh, there's some good free agents or something, because I do want to contend with Ovi at least one year. As there he is, he tries to pass it, though. I don't blame him. That was open, but come on, man. Last game of the year. You got to go for history. Bavillier gets it. Oh, God. A perfect shot for Anthony Bavillier. Beats Thompson. He got a piece of it, but... Yeah, he's definitely going to want that one back. Michael, uh, or not Michael Bunting. Uh, Anthony Bavillier with the tie-breaking goal. They're one nothing Pittsburgh now. As here he comes, just... A good, well, yeah, that was just on Thompson. He makes some good saves early, but just uh, he'd want that one back for sure. As Pittsburgh does take the one nothing lead, which, I mean, I would want to win when he breaks the record, but honestly, I'm almost cheering that he breaks it next year because I want to lose this game and get better odds, and we can uh, <laughs> we can up our ticket prices for next year for <laughs> Ovi's goal breaking or uh, record breaking goal there. Now, could you imagine the price of... T I think I mentioned this already, but can you imagine the prices of tickets for when he's that close? I can just imagine these fucking teams. Even if he's away, they would just, like, nosebleeds. Oh, yeah, you got to pay at least 200 All right, here we go. Lapierre to Kakoni, uh, whatever his fucking name is. Haman Akel. Gets it up. He's got Ovi in front if he wants him. Kakoni over to Oshi. Takes a shot. Ovi trying to get to it, but the other Sebastian Ajo gets to it. Oh, Ovi right in! Oh my god, Jari. You bitch, just let him score. That was the best chance he's had. Oh my god, he walked right in. A good play by TJ Oshi. Alright, first line. Back out there, second line for Pittsburgh. Come on, McMichael, we need a face-off win. Yeah, of course. Can't ever get the big ones. Latane up to Raquel. Ricard Raquel just walks right by... Fucking uh, Ferivari, Thompson, okay. Hey, come on, guys. Stop forcing defenses on face-offs. Get that puck up. All right, Malkin against McMichael on the draw once again, this time in our defensive zone. And, yep, you win that one, of course. Ferivari can't get that pass up. He's like, our defense and just are so sorry. <laughs> Ferivari. Oh my god, we're going to have to force the cover here, aren't we? Seven seconds left. Pittsburgh trying to get on the board again. Malkin down to Latane. He's hit off the puck by Ovechkin. And that'll take us into the third period, trailing 1-0. Oh my god, I hope we see that Ovi chance again. Nope, we're just going to see the goal. All right. I mean, that was point blank. Jari just robbed him of his stream. All right, third period here. Come on. Come on, eight. Alright, let's start off with the face-off win. We gotta have pressure early while we have legs. Of course we can't win the fucking face-offs we need. Bunting. Hit off the puck for the moment. And Alexiev does get to it. Ovechkin. Curls back. Pressured and gets it to McMichael. Come on, boys. Get it up. There we go. PLD. Gets the puck up the right wing. Oh, makes a nice move. Ovechkin. Oh my god, what a setup by PLD. Ovi down to Ferivari. Dubois, Alexiev turns it over. Jesus, dude, you are just single-handedly selling us right now. Crosby just walks right past him. Alexiev gets it back, though. Ferivari up to Ovechkin. Here you go. He got some space. Ovi walks right in. Try oh, come on, dude. Just be selfish. We're talking about history here. Crosby. 
Over to Latane. Back for Bunting. Bunting inside the Crosby. Back for Bunting and saved by Thompson. Oh, man. Come on, man. Are we really going to sit through this whole game and not get it? <laughs> All right, Dylan Strom on the draw against Evgeny Malkin. Second lines for both teams out. And Strom does get the win. Carlson has it now. Doesn't move the... Jesus, dude. Even John Carlson's one with the fuck. There you go. Alexi Protus curls back up to Carlson to nobody. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. The AI is so bad. O'Connor in front. Carlson made the play on it. And we'll get the puck back. Ovi. He's still got a little bit in him. He's losing energy fast, though. Strom. Oh, my. Like, yeah, just skate right into him, dude. Jesus. Strom, over to Ovi. <laughs> dude, EA, come on, man. How can you guys not make competent AI? Like, I just feel like they don't make any smart decisions half the time. And if they do, it's like pure luck. All right, Kevin Hayes versus Strom. Why, why do we still have this line out there? They're tired. And Pittsburgh has pressure. All right, whatever. Carlson to Eller. Download to Bavilia. He's got the goal for Pittsburgh, and that one is saved by Thompson. Protus up to Ovechkin. No legs, but he's moving right in. Can't get the shot off. He gets it back. Oh, oh yeah, nice Muppet. Jesus. Is that because he's tired or did he get deflected? Come on, Pittsburgh. Gooning up. Take like a fucking slash somebody in the mouth. Get a four-minute double minor. Here we go, Carconi on the draw against Hayes. Can we get an offensive zone? No, we just can't win offensively. I don't I don't get it. Uh, Lars Eller up to Bavillier, pressured off the puck. Carconi now. Up to our shitty defenseman. He moves in with no speed. And <laughs> I, this is what I've had to sit through for four fucking games. This shit is so, like, brain-dead AI. Carlson, I think that was, moves in. And that one saved by Thompson. Yeah, dude, like, oh my god. Our defensemen are so bad. Hayes, a couple shots, saved Thompson. And what a surprise. Defensive zone face. Watch, we'll win this defensive zone face off, but we can't ever win it to get an offensive chance. Who's out there? Crosby? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. First line versus fourth line right now. Of course. We, like, dude, I called it. Oh my god. All right, don't pass to oh, like let get in the zone first and then just set him up. Here we go, Lapierre. And he just get gets it in, all right. And we don't have any pressure. Nice, all right. Brian Russ now up the right wing. All right, Ovi, big turnover. Move it to somebody. There you go, Lapierre. Up to Alexiev, to, dude. Oh my God. All right, Alexiev again. Alexiev gets in. Alexiev, dude, like, you had the lane. I, okay, I don't mean to pause, but we have to look at this. Like, this is just stupidity. Look at this. He gets around, who is this, Marcus Pedersen, and look at look at all this ice. If you go this way, you can make a chance. And you got Oshi. like, dude, you have a three-on-one, potentially, that you can, in a short amount of time. No, what does he do? He skates backwards right into Sydney. Like, I, I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. All right, uh, Rust has it a shot, saved by Thompson, and we... <laughs> great, defense is on faceoff with 50 seconds left. That's just great. So, <laughs> barring any miracle here, it looks like Ovi is not going to break the record. He had fucking, like, six games left to do it. And he went ice cold to end the year. I even put him on every line. Carlson a blast. That one is blocked. Rasmus Hending. Come on, get... Oh, my God. Our defensemen are so stupid. McMichael. Up to Sandine. Come on. We're about to pull the fucking goalie. Here he goes. Sandine. Oh, my God. You got Ovechkin. You fucking bitch. And then we... Yeah, and then you turn it over. And then watch. We're not going to pressure because this game doesn't know how to do... Oh, look at that. And we turn it... Okay. <laughs> there is so much wrong with that. Oh, my God. Dylan Strom. 19 seconds. Over to nobody. Carlson. Oh, my God. He would have had Ovi. You could have fucking set him up perfectly. Ovi. Oh, my God. He just tried to. Carlson, a big blast. Blocked. Sandine. Dubois. Carlson takes a blast. And... <laughs> yeah, just make me watch this for even longer. 
McMichael ties the game, which will get us a fucking point. No, that, yeah, that just did not help anything, man. That did not help a single thing. And Ovi was right there, too. Carlson had the blast. Ovi was right... Oh, if only he could have got on that rebound. McMichael, though, will tie the game. And we are going to go to overtime here in Pittsburgh. So that will get us a point for our team, which isn't good. And that isn't an Ovi goal. I mean, overtime to tie the goal record, that would be something. I will give us that, but... That's be that better be what happens because anything else is just disaster. Six seconds left. I mean, I guess somebody still could score here. Let's see. Crosby does win the face off. Does Pittsburgh have a miracle and a Michael Bunting and he's taking off the puck? Overtime here in Pittsburgh. Fans are getting their money's worth and some. Will they see history? Will they see their pens end the season with a win? Or neither, and we win with like somebody else. <laughs> Here we go, overtime. Three on three hockey. Always going to have a lot of space. He should have fresh legs again, or at least somewhat. Yeah, they got full energy. Come on. Win that face off. Get in there, Ovi. There we go. And nobody. Time up, Strom. Time up. Come on, get to that puck. Come on, man. How can we never get the puck right away? Latane has it for Pittsburgh. Crosby. Always oh, just getting burned in the old legs. Malkin right in. Rebound Crosby. We're putting it in our own net. Strom up to Ovechkin. Come on. Come on, eight. Make some history. Oh, Jesus, dude. Like, we're, I, the AI is just so dumb. Here we go. Oh, my God. Well, it would have been Strom on the breakaway, so maybe it wouldn't have been good. Crosby makes a move. Over to Latane. That one blocked away. Here we go. Carlson up the ice. Here we go. Strom. Oh, my God. He's got to. Oh, Jesus. Come on, man. Why couldn't that have been Ovi? Is Strom going to end it? No, big save. Rebound. McMichael. Oh, we already went for the change. Like, nice. Isn't he on every 3-on-3 three three line? Whatever, dude. <laughs> Strom. Turned over. Mel uh, Malkin. And Latang could add a 2-on-1 with them. Decide to go for the change. McMichael. Over to Dubois. We got fresh legs. Sandine. I don't really want to win the game then if always not out there. Dubois. Cuts in. He's taken off the puck by a dead-tired Malkin. Evgeny Malkin up to Kevin Hayes of all people on three on three. Malkin stuck out there still. Carl's back. He's got or Carlson. Here we go. Two on one for Pittsburgh. Carlson moves in right over to Hayes. Big save. And oh god, overtime ended in five fucking seconds. Dubois, four seconds left. And no history for Ovechkin this year. He goes goalless in the last like five or six games. And is still one away from the record. So. That Dude, that would be the biggest cliffhanger if he retires. Because we don't get to go for the cup with him. He doesn't get the record. And we just have to accelerate our rebuild the year before I wanted to. Alright, I guess for shits and giggles, we're watching the shootout. Uh, first shooter for us, TJ Oshi. He's got that all-alone zone, or, or not zone ability, but X-Factor. And a, Oh my god, Jari robbed him with the glove there. Come on, I'm I'm half cheering for uh, not half cheering. I am cheering for Pittsburgh to win this. We need the best lottery odds possible. Sidney Crosby, beauty backhand is saved by uh, I believe that's lingering this time in the net. And there he is. At, watch him score on the fucking shootout. Just a troll. Just a troll. No, J again, Jari. That same glove animation robs Ovechkin. All right, Gino. Now, can he get one here in the shootout? Second round for Pittsburgh. No, he hit the post. Inches away from scoring. And we could put the pressure on here with Dylan Strom, our third shooter. Let's see, Jari's robbed us twice in a row. Can Dylan Strom solve him? No, try to go five hole. Jari was ready for that. And their last shooter, or at least for now, Eric Carlson has a chance to win the game. EK 65 in. Oh, he tried to go five hole there, opened up lingering, but he was ready for that. Who do we got next? Connor McMichael. To put the pressure on. Nobody has scored in the shootout yet. And that will continue as Jari with another big save. Who's next? Brian Rust. He's had some clutch playoff goals for them in the past. Can he get the game winner here? Brian Rust in the shootout. Oh, Jesus. We're going to stay here for 15 rounds too. Oh, John Carlson. Comes in on Jari. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please just end the game, dude. Please, Michael Bunning. I don't even. I don't want the extra point. Please, you guys just take it. 
Oh my god. EA can't, like, why would, who would ever do that? Just a weak backhand, doesn't even try to fool the goalie. PLD. <laughs> oh, yay. Ricard Raquel, I don't, like, what do I even say now? There it is. Linger got a piece, but not enough for Thompson, whoever the fuck is in the net. And the Pittsburgh Penguins send their fans home happy, and me, because we don't get the extra point. Alright. Well, at least there's that. We do get, end up picking up a point, which might be uh, a huge factor in the draft lottery. We'll have to see where the Sharks, and I believe the Blues were way down. We'll have to see where they la landed. As there was Ricard Raquel with the game winner. Again, got a piece of it. Was uh, Lingren, Thompson, whoever the fuck that is. But not all of it. And the Penguins win 2-1 to one in the shootout. Shouldn't have even got the extra point to begin with. So We'll see if that costs us in the draft lottery. But ladies and gentlemen, no history for Alex Ovechkin. And uh, we'll have to wait till next year to see if he retires. A big offseason for us. Lots of changes to be made. Big question marks, meaning with uh, Ovechkin, his retirement status, and the draft lottery. So, we will see all of that unfold in the next episode. And, uh, man, I am so disappointed we didn't get this here. So, thank you all for watching this one, though. And as always, y'all take care.